Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Undertale. In the last episode, we went to Temp Village. I'm sure that's all you need to hear. In this episode, Alpha's updated status. Gonna call them in a minute. Okay, we still get notified every time she calls, wants to post on Facebook. Oh, God, I hate these things. Uh, Double Davis. The rare and threatening Double Davis, in fact. Okay, let's I'm fully healed this time. So what I gotta do is just heat up extremely and then I can get out of here. Question is, will I be able to leave? Oh god, there's so many. I hate this attack so stinking much. It's actually not that powerful, but despite just how big and terrifying it looks. So my question is, if the heat is super high in general, will they both surrender after I show mercy right now? Or do I have to individually heat them both? Let's find out. Okay, cool. Making it easy. 90 gold, I got 100 gold for one of them. Uh, go up here. This looks very cool. And we're good. Keep on climbing up here, this looks very similar to something. Uh, the whooshing sound of steam and cogs that fills you with determination. Save the game. And Alpha update says, I hate using the phone, I don't want to do this LMAO. Uh, what is it? Up here, do can't go anywhere. Go down here, just a big old puzzle dungeon and an enemy the rare and threatening double Davis. Great, heat up. And at least we're right next to a save and heal point, so this doesn't really matter all that much. Let's see if I could survive attacks. I can't survive or dodge attacks at all. Heat up. And now it's all squiggly. Like I thought, like, because cooling down didn't seem to do anything, like after I did it once, so I didn't think heating up would do anything different if I did it more than once. Go back and heal, because there's no point in not doing it. Save the game. Go back over here, jump on this. Okay, so we're just jumping on little platforms. That just takes us in a circle. Go back around, and we're good. Go to the right, there was a little shovel of some kind over there. Let's see if I could get it. Oh jeez, that's not what it, oh wait, it took me, oh, it's actually moving back and forth. There's a frying pan line on the ground. Will you take it? Of course we will. You got the burnt pan. Is it an item? Or, well, obviously it's an item. Is it a weapon? Is it was trying to say? Burnt pan weapon attack 10 damage is rather consistent. Consumable items heal 4 more HP. Uh, let's look at our stats. Uh, weapon, ballet shoes. Our attack is 8, 7, what? Uh, let's go with burnt pan. You equip the burnt pan. And now our stats are 8, 10. So the frying pan is a better weapon. Cool beans. We can't go down there. What the fruit? Uh, go over here. Up here. Alpha's update says, OMG, I've had my claw over the last digit for five minutes. OMG, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna call. Be awkward if they were friends on Facebook, so like, rain, rain, what? Click? Whoever was calling hung up before you answered it. You're calling me? Uh, let's see, Rain. Ah, uh, hi, so the blue lasers. Ah, uh, I mean, Alphys is here, hi. The blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move. Orange ones, um, you have to be moving, and they, um, they won't, um, move through these ones. Um, bye. Alpha Subject says, Oh, yeah, did it! Claws haven't shook like that since Undyne called me and asked about weather. So she likes us or Undyne? I, why did Metaton let us live though? Are you saying Undyne? I don't, think, I don't care. Just walk through them. Alpha Subject, the status. Wait, there's no weather down here. Why did she call me? Okay, just walk through here. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. I'm fighting a laser? What the fruit? <laughs> Uh, run, run. Okay. Kind of interesting. What happens if I, like, just stand still in here? Oh, wow, of course. I don't know why I thought that something different would happen. It's a switch. Press it. Who wouldn't? The lasers were deactivated. Cool. Alpha's update says, Oh my god, I forgot to tell them they where to go. So tell me, do you want a good post a picture? Cute pic of me right now. Oh my god, it's a photo of garbage can with several pink glittery glitters all over it. Uh, rain. Alf is here. The, the northern door will stay locked until you solve the puzzles on the right and left. 
I think you should g -g go to the right first. Okay then. Uh, y one down. Left, down, right. Go. Go over here. And we got some cool dudes in suits hanging out by the fire. The way the work is blocked, so I had time to catch Metaton's show on my phone. The special effects were amazing today. That human almost looked real. Metaton, yeah, he's the most popular star in the underground. I like how when he's talking his coffee moves, but he doesn't. His fan club probably has at least two, no, three dozen members. Now, so Dave says, I wonder if it would be unfun if I explained the puzzle. Uh, hello. What's over here? Shoot the opposing ship. Move the boxes to complete your mission. The door lead. What the fruit? The door leading through the area is closed, so I tried the puzzle, but I kept running out of ammo and it kept restarting. And now my two co workers won't help? It's like they don't even want to go to work? Oh. What? Okay, congratulations. I was like really confused on what to do, but that worked. <laughs> Jump over here and wait for this to take me this way. Rain, rain. Alpha is here. That blue laser seems totally impassable. But, 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 as the royal scientist, I have some tricks up my sleeve. I'll uh, hack into the Hotland Laser Database and take it out. Very nice. We were hanging out when suddenly a bunch of puzzles reactivated out of nowhere. This is a huge problem. It rules. They've got to cancel school over this. Finally, someone turned off that laser. Now that we're free, we can, well, uh, I guess we'll just keep standing here. <laughs> It's like a flame in a schoolgirl uniform. Oh god, this looks difficult. Uh, shoot the opposing ship, move the boxes to complete your mission. Okay, cool. I have two lasers. Oh god. Oh, jeez. There you go. Alright, that was simple enough. Fun little puzzle, congratulations. And now we're done, so we just head on up to the northern area. After this thing spins around. Yay! Oh. And it looks like wrenching the doors of Satan. Alpha's update says, whatever, I'll just explain it. Rain. Uh, I think, um, hey, about the puzzles on the left and right. They're a bit difficult to explain, but, uh, you already solved them? Awesome! Uh, click, and then she's gonna freak out on social media, be like, "Oh, I'm so stupid and annoying!" Oh, blah, 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 blah. And it looks all polka dotty now. Change the background. Hey, it's kind of dark in there, isn't it? Don't worry, I'll hack into the light system and brighten it up. A kitchen. Oh no! Oh yes! Welcome, beauties, to the underground premiere cooking show. Cooking with a killer robot! I love how unamused my character looks the entire time. Preheat your ovens because we got a very special recipe for you today! We are going to be making a cake! My lovely assistant here will gather the ingredients. If everyone give them a big hand. <laughs> I was hoping for like a hand to just fly out of the sky. We'll need sugar, milk, and eggs. Go for it, sweetheart. Well, here's the sugar. You found the sugar. You found the milk. You found the eggs. This can't possibly be some sort of trap. Great job, just put them in the middle of this counter. There you go. Perfect, great job, beautiful. We've got all the ingredients we need to make the cake. Milk, sugar, eggs. Oh my, wait, a magnificent moment. How could I forget? We're missing the most important ingredient. Friendship, or a saw. A human saw! Move, run, do something human. Hello, I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Wait a second. 
Couldn't you make a, uh, couldn't you use a, uh, couldn't you make a substitution in the recipe? A substitution, you may use a different ingredient, non-human ingredient. Why? Uh, what if someone's vegan? Vegan. Uh, well, let me- That's a brilliant idea, Alphys! Actually, I happen to have an option right here. Meat brand always convenient human soul flavor substitute. A can of which is just over on that counter. Ever so convenient counter! Well, darling, why don't you go get it? This is the weirdest stinking game in the universe. I love how just full-blown ham it is. At least Earthbound had some chill moments. And then this game is just like falls to the wall like Earthbound on steroids. By the way, our show runs on a strict schedule. If you can't get the can in the next one minute, uh, we'll just have to go back to the original plan. So better start climbing, beautiful. Oh my Christ. Oh no, there's not enough time to climb up. But fortunately, I might have a plan. When I was upgrading your phone, I added a few features. You see that huge button that says Jetpack? Watch this. Um. Wow. Now I could fly. There. You should have just enough fuel to reach the top. Now get up there. Oh my Christ. Uh, I'll try my best. I'm sure he's gonna try and stop me. I assume that's the same as an attack, so I'll avoid him. Is that like seasoning? He's trying to like season us or something? Oh Christ. Oh God. How do you avoid that? You can't avoid that. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, I don't know why I thought I couldn't walk through the stinking uh, table. God stinking darn it. Uh, just keep going. Uh, we're almost there, but just very stinking terrifying. I don't like this one bit. Oh god. Oh jeez. Bunch of evil flower of doom. What the fruit? This game is so stinking weird. Come on. And oh jeez. Oh god. Ten, nine. Okay, we made it. Cool. My, my, it seems you bested me, but only because you had the help of the brilliant Dr. Alphys. Oh, I loathe to think of what would have happened to you, to you without her. Well, toodles. Oh, yes, about the substitution. Haven't you ever seen a cooking show before? I already baked the cake ahead of time, so forget it. Wait, so there was another human that you cooked up before us? Wow, we we did it. We we really did it. Great job out there, team. Well, uh, anyway, let's keep heading forward. Well, I'm gonna head back and see the cake, though. Huh, there's nothing. Anything? Can I go in the fridge? It's a fridge. It's strangely warm. Uh, it's a microwave. That's great if you're a microwave fan. What? It's an oven. It looks pretty modern. That's about it, I guess. <laughs> and a safe point. Oh boy. Our structure looms in the distance. You're filled with determination. Save the game. To see that building in the distance, that's the core. The source of all power for the underground. It converts ge ge geothermal energy into magical electricity by... Uh, anyway, that's where we're going to go. In the core is an elevator directly to Asgore's castle. And from there, you can go home. I doubt the game is about to end, though. Seems like just a very weird ending, but... Oh, boy. Whenever we get one of these ominous screens, like, with just a thing in the distance, like, it just... It fills me with something. Apparently determination, but also something else. I just feel the intensity of this moment. Let's go over here. R1. Do I press on the controller? No. Huh. Please select a location. Left floor one, cancel right floor two. Oh, R1, so I'm on right floor one right now. Let's go to left floor one.
This takes me over here. Another save point. Wait a minute. Oh, this I'm back over here at the beginning. Interesting. So that's good for backtracking. But what we want to do is go to right floor two. Hello. Hey, I'm Heat's Flamesman. Remember my name. Okay. That'll be important for something, I'm sure. What the fruit is this thing? I love hot dogs. Hey, isn't it weird there's snow on that guy's roof? I guess he's just too lazy to clean it off. <laughs> oh my god. Toasty bun. What's up, Sans? Haven't seen you in a while. Hey, buddy, what's up? Wanna buy a hot dog? It's only 30G. Sure. You're holding too much. Guess I'll just put it on your head. You actually put a wiener on my head. Let this day be known as Wiener on Head Day. Um, how do I... I'm gonna use my dimensional box, put the ballet shoes in there, and get a wiener that isn't on my head. What's up? Wanna buy a hot dog? Yes. It's only 30G. Thanks, kid. Here's your hot dog. Yeah. Dog. Apostrophe dog. It's short for hot dog. And hot dog? Question mark? Info. Hot dog kills 20 HP. The meat is made of something called a water sausage. Okay. I assume the wiener's gonna disappear as soon as I... Could it fall off? Nope. <laughs> I just have a wiener on my head. And it disappears. Okay. We made it to the core of the underground. Not sure how I feel about this. Okay. Nap, stab, look, tw Wait a minute. That sounds familiar. I sent you a friend request. Accept the request? Sure. Seems to have already rejected itself. What? <laughs> uh, there's an apron line on the ground. Will you take it? Yes. You're carrying too much. Great. Uh, sell. Dimensional box. Um, I guess I'll put a nice cream in there. And take the apron. Got the stupid apron? Or the stained apron. Okay. Uh, what do we got? Stained apron. Stained apron. Armor. Oh, it's armor. Okay. So, go ahead and equip that. Equip the apron. And then I will go ahead and... Use the dimensional box to get rid of the old tutu. Oh, we've uh, been promoted from a ballerina to a chef. How lame. I, I prefer the tutu stuff, but whatever. Uh, that's a quote of the day right there. <laughs> Rain! Hey, hi! It's Dr. Alphys. This puzzle is kind of, um, timing based. You see those switches over there? You'll have to press all three of them within three seconds. I'll try to help you with the rhythm. Click. I get it. Okay, so just gotta click it in time. One, two, three. Oh, oh my god! Okay, now press the third one. Hey, looks like you only needed to press two of them. That's stinking funny. Okay, cool. Let's go through here. Like, I want to have free range commentary, but like every time I think of something to say, this stinking thing happens. That's why. Alpha's update stats. That's the last time I try to help with the puzzle. LMAO. Cool. Ring. Uh, hey, I'm going to do the bathroom, so I'll be MIA for a bit. Good. I'm sure you can handle this puzzle yourself. Yes, I can. Can we go down here? Jump over here. Oh, God, is it switching constantly? Or. Huh. Okay, I get it. Oh, uh, when you hit a button, it switches things around. Turns it around. Every now and then I get a little bit hotter. Cause we're in a stinking volcano and it's really stinking hot in here. Yeah, this went on for like another two hours, so... <laughs> oh, this should be good. You know, that was a lot easier than it should have been. I kept on trying to do some crazy combination, but I just had to go back and then forward, and then that would fix everything. Oh boy. That should not have been as difficult as I it wanted to be. OMG, people think Mew Mew 2 is better than Mew Mew 1. Lol, that's a joke, right? Save the stinking game. Oh boy. I think we're going to end it off here just because that was a long stinking puzzle. I'm not sure how, many are gonna, how much is going to get taken out, but... 
Uh, that was certainly something. There's a piece of cheese inside the computerized laser safe. The lasers have melted the edges of the cheese. It's stuck to the table. Uh, knowing the mouse might one day hack the computerized safe and get the cheese. It fills you with determination. I wish we could meet this mouse, but something tells me I'll never get to meet it because you gotta meet some very specific requ requirements. But whatever, we're ending it off here. Next time on Undertale, we're continuing through this stinking annoying dungeon with Alphys annoyingly annoying us. This is the Annoying Midnight and Beyond, and I will annoyingly see you all later. Good night.